been on Louie's show. She's been on Orange is the New Black. She's here for you live. Pat Caesar, everybody. Keep it going for your host, guys. You did a great job tonight seeing all your friends. Hey, everybody. Guess what? I actually read some really good news this morning for a change. Do you know how they say that 40 is the new 30? Have you heard that? I read this morning that plus size women are now the new skinny bitches. Now that's some good news. Thank you. So speaking of the news, guys, can we talk about Bill O'Reilly? Yes. Well, first I want to tell you, did you know that 80% of women are sexually harassed in the workforce? I represent the other 20%. And we're suing for discrimination. I mean, guys, do you think Bill O'Reilly called us just once? And if anybody knows what rejection feels like, it's Bill O'Reilly, because nobody wanted to fuck him either. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. So my name is Pat Caesar, and I happen to be Sicilian. And you guys can see that I'm fair. So I decided to send my DNA into Ancestry.com. So here's a fun fact. I'm 2% African. Yeah. 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 Look, look at me. Which is one more percent? I could have been Holly Berry. <laughs> now, I'm also a 4% Norwegian, which explains my grandparents telling me that I guess very tall, red-headed Vikings once invaded Sicily and left behind the red-headed gene. And I said to them, well, they must have been assholes. Because would it have killed them to leave me the tall, thin jean, too? <laughs> so I was driving in here this, mo uh, this afternoon, and um, I got pulled over by the police. And I wasn't speeding. So, you know, I, I pulled over. I haven't stopped in a long time. So, you know, I pulled over, rolled down the window, I put my hands on the wheel. Big policeman comes to the window and says to me, Ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? And I said, because I'm 2% African. <laughs> but you know what, guys? Nothing else matters on this planet. You want to know why? Because my husband still thinks I'm sexy. Of course, I drug him. <laughs> and we were on uh, vacation time is coming up. Uh, a couple of years ago, we went on vacation to Cape Cod, to Provincetown. And if you don't know, it happens to be a very gay area. And we were going to see some gay comedian friends in a show. So I didn't know it was going to be too much gay for my husband. But after the show, we went to one of those Broadway piano bars. So I thought, well, this is harmless enough, right? until my husband starts to disappear to the men's room a lot. And ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Sicilian. So if my husband cheated on me with another woman, like her, I, I would have to kill him, I would have to kill her, and I'd have to kill her entire family. But let me ask you this, ladies and gentlemen. If my husband accidentally got a blowjob from some young man in the men's room, now would that really be cheating? No. Or would that just give me the night off? <laughs> so the next summer we decided we would go hiking instead in Utah. And we ended up in this little barbecue place in the middle of nowhere. And I don't know if you've been to Utah, but we noticed something about the white people in Utah. They're not like your regular white people. They're like a pasty white. I don't know if it's a Mormon thing. I don't know if it's inbreeding. I don't know. All I know is that they were looking at us 
and we were looking at them, and they were looking at us, and finally I said to my husband, honey, I think we're the only black people in here. <laughs> and, and I'll leave you with this. My husband was away last week on a business trip in Korea. And after that whole, you know, P-Town debacle, I said, you know what, I gotta keep the spark alive. So I decided to send him some of that photo sexting. So I took pictures of what I think is still his favorite parts, and I sent him over. Well guys, I waited 24 hours. I didn't hear anything. I'm like, oh my God, I hope I used the right country code. I hope I didn't send him to like an Eskimo in the North Pole. I hope I didn't send him to this young man right here. Because that's why he can't keep his eyes off me. So I checked the number, I sent him again. And finally I got a text back from my husband. And you know what it said? Who are you? And how did you get my wife's cell phone number? You fat, hairy bitch. No, no, it's okay. I love it when he talks dirty to me. See, hairy bitch is our safe word. And I was thinking about that, and I said, you know, when we were dating, they had the flip phone, so I've never gotten, in my lifetime, a dick pic. Until this morning. From the Eskimo. And despite all that cold air up there, you know there was no sh shrinkage. I screwed that word up. Shrinkage, guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed a little taste of Caesar. My name is Pat Caesar for a wonderful evening. Thank you very much.